Hey, Malik. Uh, welcome. Uh, this is Eric Branch with the San Francisco Chronicle. Did this catch you by surprise? I mean, did you have any idea this might be coming? And and kind of can you tell us just how you how you found out? Um, it was a it was a surprise, but I heard it. It had been a couple talks. Um, my agent had called me after the Texans had informed him that um it could be a possibility, and um, you know. What what a great place to be in though, you know a place that's had a lot of success, a storied organization like the Forty Niners. Um, I couldn't ask for a better situation, um, but it did come at a surprise as a surprise. But I'm super excited to be here, um, to be in the Bay Area, and to just be out here to you know add to the success of this 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 team and this franchise has, has had. Hey Malika, uh, on your on your way out of Houston, uh, how what kind of conversations did you have with D'Amico Ryan's, and also just playing for D'Amico last year? What kind of transition? How much do how much do you think that can help your transition here to to this defense? Well, um, actually, uh, D'Amico called me to inform me that I was that I was that the trade had went through. Um, so I was I was grateful for that, and I think that just showed his his character and showed who he is as a man that he would he would call and break that news to me himself. Um, you know, we said our thank yous, and um, you know, he said I couldn't be going to a, a better organization with great people. Um, and I mean, as I as I walked around here today a little bit, I mean, I think that's, I mean, a, a true testament of, of what he told me. Hey Malik, um, you mentioned the uh, 2016 combine. Um, wondering whether you remember. Javon Hargrave from that and, you know, a guy that you're going to be lining up next to and what you think of his game and how you might be uh, working together. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of guys on this line that I'm excited to play with um, under, under being coached under Chris, the main one, but like being play playing next to some of the guys is here. Um, but, you know, me and uh, me and Hargrave, we, uh we train a lot together in the off season. So um, he's a guy I'm familiar with. He's a guy I, I know, um, and I'm excited to be in, to come in here and contribute. Hey, Malik, this is Matt Mayoko from NBC Sports Bay Area. A little earlier, you talked about how you've been waiting to play for Chris Kosarek. What what is it about him? Why do you want to play for him? What do you remember about those interactions pre draft? Uh. I mean, same same thing. I remember before it was the same thing um, when I when I talked to him on the phone was a uh, you know just his passion that he brings to the game. Um, how he how he's all about you know getting a dub, um, and then he wants to be the most productive defensive line, um, and he wants to be number one in everything. You know, um, that's something that I want to come in. I want to contribute to, and. Um, you know, I'm, I'm I'm excited to be coached and coached hard, and uh, you know, a better it couldn't be a better situation. A story franchise like this, um, at this point in my career, you know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm excited. At the you know, like you say you're excited to come to the 49ers. At the same time, is there a part of you that's uh, you know, not happy to be leaving uh, the the place you were just at? I mean, what what does it feel like to to get traded? Uh, you know, it, it kind of happened fast, you know, um, I mean, you can't really dwell on anything. You just move forward. Um, everything happens for a reason. I feel like this is the, I mean, being here, I mean, the love that you get, the, how people embrace you. Um, I think, it, I think this is the best situation that could have possibly happened. And what is it about the 49ers style of play? You think that you can step in and, and make it an immediate impact? What, what is it about uh, their style that lines up with your style of play? Um, well, it's an attack front, which is something I'm very fond of. But uh, just coming in and adding to the success that's already that's already been had. You know, um, this is a team that was in the Super Bowl last year. This is a team that was in the Super Bowl in 2019. Um, you know, just seeing that seeing that success and seeing you know the NFC championships and all that. Um, I just want to come in and, and, and help bridge that gap that to, to get us over the hump. Malik, you're obviously in effect replacing Eric Armstead. It was a obviously a productive and uh, you know popular.
player and leader uh, for a long time with the 49ers. Does that come with any uh, uh, pressure? Um, I don't think you replace a player like Eric Armstead, um, the, the person that he is in the community, um, the person that he is on the field. I don't think you replace that. I'm just here to add my skill set and um, bring what I bring what I who I am to the table. Hey Malik, over the last few days here has been kind of a renovation of that defensive line room. You're one of one of four new guys coming in in that group. I'm just I'm curious if you're familiar with any of those other three and uh, maybe kind of what your impressions are of, of what those guys can bring to the table. Uh, I'm familiar with Elliot. I seen him on film um, playing in Cleveland. Um, you know, I mean I'm I'm excited. I seen I seen Kevin Givens play. Uh, you know, I just I, I watch football and I I know I trust. It, I mean, I, you got to trust what John Lynch is doing here when he's bringing in these guys and um, the product that's been put on the field and, um, you know. Hi, Malik. Jennifer Lee Chan with NBC Sports Bay Area. Uh, did you watch the Super Bowl and what did you think about the shift from what the 49ers did in the defense in 2023 versus what they've done in the past, if you've watched it at all? Uh, I mean... To be in the Super Bowl is is a uh, is a great accomplishment. You know, you get in the Super Bowl and you wanna you wanna bring it home. So it's um you know, that's the only the only goal. So I'm sure that there's many things that when you look at film and stuff like that, there's many things that could have went different ways or however you wanna look at it, but I know everybody, you know, the the goal is to win them. Did you see any uh difference between when I know it's a new defensive coordinator now, um 2022 versus what you've seen in 2023 and I know they're going back to Nick Sorensen have you spoken to him yet yeah uh, actually uh I actually have spoke to him um but that was pretty much it I haven't got to talk about no scheme or anything like that and uh quite frankly I don't really have anything to compare it to Malik you mentioned the Niners uh have an attack front what do you like about the wide nine and why is it a good fit for you um, I don't think I'd be lined up out there at wide nine. Well, I, I I don't know though, but uh, I think um, uh, I think it the way it sets edges, um, and the way it allows the interior guys to get off, and you know the way you can redirect and get down the line and make a TFL, um, I think it I think it's I think it's great. Um, I actually you know I actually played in the I would say the same system last year, um, under D'Amico and um. I mean, you've seen how that how that bolstered that team in Houston, and um, you know, I'm I'm excited to come to the places that's had the most success in it as a Blazer.